TV. What's good everybody? So the video you're about to see is a knotless box braid tutorial, semi-tutorial. I'll do one later on down the line that is more detailed, but I just wanted to give you a little snippet of what you're about to see, so stay tuned. First I'll be using two packs of expressions, pre-stretched hair, and a thread rack. You can find your thread rack at Walmart for about $10 and your pre-stretched hair at a local beauty supply. Then, the rest of the products we'll be using include the Blue Magic Coconut Oil Grease, the Shine and Jam, and lastly, we're going to be using our Cantu Curling Moisturizer, which can also be found at your local beauty supply. So we're going to moisturize that crown right there as we prepare to do this style. You are going to be parting in rows. So as you can see, my first row is parted and separated by a clip, properly detangled. This is why we moisturize to avoid pain in your client. Next, you're going to go in and grease that scalp with your Blue Magic Coconut Oil. You want to make sure that we are getting ready to retain moisture as we do this protective style. After you use that conditioning grease, you're going to go back in with your shine and jam just to secure the hold. I would prefer shine and jam over let's jam just because it's a little softer and so it makes it a little easier when it's time to braid. The hair is a little less stiff. Now we're going to get ready to part our boxes. So we're going to use our silver clip. And remember, also, you're going to want some clips and things to keep your hair out of the way. There are different clips that I use, but here's one of them. Go ahead and twist the rest of the hair out of the way so that you can focus in on the section that you will be braiding. So as I clip that hair away, I'm preparing to enter the knotless box braid section. Remember, you want to properly detangle so you can avoid any knots or anything that will hinder you from being successful. I comb one on top and one on the bottom. Now, these box braids will be about a medium size, which is small and medium, not too big and not too small. I will be using two pieces of braiding here. So, as I grab those two pieces, I'm going to lay them on her shoulder so that I can pick them up easily. Now, you're going to take your client's hair and split it into three as we prepare to insert. You're going to cross the right piece under as if you're doing a feed and cornrow and insert your hair under your index finger and your thumb. You cross your left piece over and you're going to do the same process cross just like that and then your index and your thumb should be ready to grab another piece so then I open my index finger and my thumb once again to receive that piece of added in hair now her hair is black and the hair we're using is a 613. So in a few seconds here, I'm going to be going into the tucking method, which simply means that I will be placing the black hair behind the blonde hair in order to have the blonde hair cover it so that the braid can be predominantly blonde. Now this client in particular does love the contrast of the black and blonde, so I will not hide it completely as I do the full head, but for the most part, it will be hidden. Now for the beginners, you wanna take your time if you are tucking hair, cause you want it to be nice and neat. But as you can see here, I realized the braid was just a little smaller than I wanted it to be. So I went ahead and added in another piece of braiding here. 
Now if you can see, I'm gonna take that black hair and put it behind the blonde hair and twist that blonde hair over the black hair so that it will not be seen as much as the blonde hair. I know this process seems a little confusing and a little complicated, but with practice, I'm sure we can all get it. Now this is going to be the process for the rest of the video, and I'm going to go ahead and speed it up for us. I hope that you understood, and I hope that you can try this someday on your own. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to Just Aggie TV. Let me know what you think. And for the record, this process took about three and a half hours. My client does have a small head and knotless braids do require less hair. Thank you again and I hope you enjoy.